Hi, this is Luis from LuisMontero.com. In this section, I'm going to talk about how the slide rule portion of the E6B flight computer works. Here you can see in detail the slide rule side of the E6B flight computer. There are many different models and manufacturers. We're going to be covering basically this circular portion here, which is the slide rule portion. We're going to construct one and show you how it works. We're not going to go into the details, however, of how to use it in flight planning. For that, it's best that you use the manual that came with your E6B. Here's the slide rule scale in more detail. Let's take a look at this regular scale right here of a ruler. It's numbered 0 through 10, and it's evenly spaced. Now suppose that we're going to have the second ruler and at each position, for example, in the zero position, I'm going to have 2 to the power of 0. In the first position, I'm going to have 2 to the power of 1. In the second position, 2 to the power of 2, and so forth. If I were to evaluate those powers of 2, I would come up with this ruler right here. For example, 2 to the 4th power is 16. Now if I add a symmetrical ruler right below it, an interesting thing occurs. If I slide the ruler below so that the 1 is underneath the 4, I have 4 divided by 1 equals 4. 8 divided by 2 equals 4. 16 divided by 4 equals 4. Well, it looks like any number on top divided by the bottom one now equals 4. 32 divided by 8 equals 4. And so on. Now I'm going to move the ruler underneath the 8, so that the 1 is underneath the 8. We have 8 divided by 1 equals 8, 16 divided by 2 equals 8, 32 divided by 4 equals 8, and so on. So it looks like the result of the top divided by the bottom is always going to be whatever number is above the 1. Let's show the rulers as powers of 2 again. If I move 2 to the power of 0, which is 1, underneath here, 2 to the power of 2, which is 4, if we were to evaluate this symbolically, you basically would have this. 2 to the power of 2 divided by 2 to the power of 0 equals 2 to the power of 2 minus 0, which equals 2 to the power of 2. Here, when you have 2 to the power of 3 and 2 to the power of 1, you'll have 2 to the power of 3 divided by 2 to the power of 1 equals 2 to the power of 3 minus 1. It equals 2 to the power of 2, the same result we had last time. And so on and so forth. The result is always 2 to the power of 2 because it's what is above the 1, which is the 2 to the power of 0. The same thing works if it's underneath the 2 to the power of 3. I'm not going to go over each one, but you get the idea. 2 to the power of 3, that was the answer for all of them. Two to the power of four. Now let's look at a more generic way of representing it. If, for example, I move the ruler two units from its original distance, so if this were in centimeters, 
this would be zero centimeters marking, this would be one centimeter marking, and this would be the two centimeter marking. The exponent is basically the distance that each marking of the scale is. So here, a to the fourth power, it's four units from the origin. So let's look here at a to the second power over a to the zero power. It's going to look something like this. The answer is a to the second power. And if we move along the scale, a to the third power divided by a to the first power is a to the second power. So the answer is the same throughout the ruler. A to the second power. And I bet you it will work the same for a to the third power, which is the number at the distance of three units from the origin of the ruler. And sure enough, it equals a to the third power, next one is a to the third power, and so on. So the top number divided by the bottom number is equal to that number that's above the a to the zero power. a to the third power for all of them. Now let's take a look at an even more generic way of representing it. 